the view to the right now if you can see it. Does, it. yeah. I think there's a little pull in just down here where that car is over there. Get a view of that. It just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Point out where we are on the map. Yeah, Canico, just uh, here, that hotel there. Yeah, and whereabouts on the map are we heading then? We're going to go around the main road briefly, and then up this road here to Ribeiro Frio. Yeah, and, we're going to do and a what's there? Walk there? There was a walk, little village, um, this walk along the Levadas up there. So we're going to do that, not only a short one, about two yeah, or three miles. Yeah, we've got to walk in, uh, bike, bike gear. But there's a nice viewpoint apparently up there. Yeah. And then we're going to carry on north up to the top here. And then we're going to come back down the main road a little way. Lots of tunnels there. And then we're going to go over to this point over on the uh, east of the island. And then back to the hotel later. We won't film from here because we've got to go on a little bit of motorway here, just one junction. This road here looks like it's Yeah, and we'll catch up with you somewhere on this road around here. here. There's quite a lot of nice viewpoints up here, so we should hopefully get a nice stop yeah. for a nice viewpoint. Okay. Put the camera on there. See you shortly. Well, welcome back to a pine forest <laughs> somewhere in the middle of Madeira. And, uh, we're a couple of uh, miles away from our destination where we're going to do a little bit of a walk to check out the Levadas. As you can see, they need them to channel the water. The water runs everywhere. It does rain quite a bit here. Very easy, especially when you park on the left, mm. to set off on the left when you uh, normally ride on, ride on the left. <laughs> But they seem really good over here at uh, engineering these channels. I mean, just look at the water coming out of the rocks. If they didn't do that, it would just be spilling all over the road. So there's these channels everywhere. The road up here was through a huge pine forest, wasn't it? And mm. uh, it was really dark though, so I don't think the camera would have worked very well there. And the roads were very green, so we were being very tentative. <laughs> Point where I'd like to park on mine. So, have you got that on your uh, yeah, sat nav? That favourites. Yeah. So we'll we'll try there first. Okay. It really is lovely here. Where? Along this road there. Uh, get in there. We okay to park there, do you know? Just at the end there. Be alright on bikes. Thank you. Right, shall we uh, get a walking head on them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rather, rather stunning, doesn't it? Uh, we've got to walk that way, haven't we? Yes. Go take a look. Oh, 
like that. That one's worth the view, isn't it? I think it's worth the walk, <laughs> isn't you? I think it's worth the walk, yeah. Yeah, it probably took us, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's all. Something like that. Yeah, I'd love a tent in there. It's worth that hill. That is fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. It's really fabulous. Could you put that in the clouds? It could have been easy. Yeah, it could have been, it? It's like a bowl, aren't it? A bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, you see the river coming down over there. Yeah. Somebody's got a house with a view up there as well, look. Yeah. Look at that. Is it, or is it a hydroelectric place? Well, it might be hydroelectric. Yeah. yeah. Might be, yeah. The right turn here takes us back to where the bikes are, but you feel a bit gutted if you can't get out down there. Walk all the way down there, then you've got to walk all the yeah, way back again, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Well, we made it, made it a slog back, back up walk. the hill, <laughs> so we've just walked a little bit past where we parked the bikes, and uh, we can have a look at these pools up here. It's uh, turning turn it into <laughs> Tourist Central, what is a tiny little road. Yeah. That's on the bus. I'm glad we got here early. Yeah, I'm glad we got here early. Look. Production of rainbow trout. Aha. Trout tanks. They get smaller as you go up, look. <laughs> Perhaps that's uh, the no, final no. resting place for a trout. Smoking box. Smoking box, yeah. Wow. Ooh. Smoky. Chimney, isn't it? Let's see if I can get my stick down there somewhere. Or out if I can get it and get the shot. Ah, eating size. <laughs> You're an eater, aren't you? Where right now then? Oh, coffee, I think. Coffee. I think we need coffee. Well, oh, got my hazards on. Don't know what I've done there. It. No, you've got a switch for hazards. Yeah, no, no, I found it. I haven't found it. We're walking up there now, look. <laughs> All the hordes. Anyway, guys, welcome uh, welcome back. <laughs> a nice coffee back there, wasn't it? Proper strong it yeah, really Spanish good. coffee. Mm. I'm not sure my legs have recovered from the walk up there. <laughs> It was a bit there. unexpected yeah. to have to walk up there, wasn't it? But uh... oh, look at that view down the valley, guys. Just, it's just beautiful. Steep. It's certainly steep. Warming up as well now. It was a bit chilly this morning, wasn't it? Mm, it was a bit chilly. Yeah, it was. Uh borderline whether I could have done with another layer but hey we made it and uh, it's worth it now not having to carry too much stuff with us absolutely oh it's deep <laughs> massive drops down there to the right mm. we're saying how many tourists are up there you wouldn't believe it would you the roads are roads actually are empty really quiet yeah that's because they all arrive to... on a coach <laughs> We do, yeah. If you arrived on motorbike, it'd be a far more civilised affair, wouldn't it? <laughs> it spread everybody out a bit more. It's just the way they all descend on everything in one hit, don't they? Yeah. It's a bit like when these cruise ships arrive in these little yeah. uh, little places, you know. They well, I go bet from if you go down to Funchal and you see a cruise ship arrive, because they have big cruise ships arrive. Well, I don't want there to go down port. to Funchal when a cruise ship arrives. Wow. Well. So, Carol, how are you enjoying the powerhouse that is the F800 
Oh. I think I'm at one with the powerhouse. I think he's uh, yeah behaving beautifully. Really, I'm quite impressed. Nice little bike to ride around these roads, certainly. So you can flat foot it as well, can't you? And I can flat foot <laughs> which it, which is good is. on these really. I mean, yeah, these, these, these roads have got some massive cambers on them at junctions. Yeah, to me that's the most important thing, rather than power. Oh, kid, don't that. Uh, <laughs> I think that must have meant rev it up. <laughs> rev it up, man! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this bike was a contender when I was looking for my first bike, wasn't it? The uh, BMW. It was, yeah, because you I, test rode, I test rode one way, way back in 2010, didn't I? Before I'd even had my test. Yeah. And, uh, so it was a contender when we bought the Street Triple originally, but uh, I think the Street Triple seat is still more comfortable, but maybe it's just because I'm used to it, I guess. You've moulded it to your uh, backside. Yeah, probably, yeah. Six years of you sat in one place on it is mm. uh, is made it yours, I think. Mm. But that's just pretty comfortable for riding all day and so this quite one, a nice both, smooth engine. Both these bikes are sipping fuel compared Ooh, to my MT10. <laughs> yeah, I mean we haven't filled up yet, have we? Nope. That would never happen with your bike. You're gonna have to make your mind up. Go on, mate. Mm. Oh, sorry. I can't see the map. All it says is approaching. Yeah. No, gone wrong. Should have gone that way. Sorry. <laughs> Had to take a 50-50 guess. Looks a fabulous run down there, but we're going to have to turn around then. Yeah, we're going to have to come back up. Yeah, we're on a little orange road now and we should be on that other road up there. Oh, bloody sat now. I can't understand why it keeps coming up with a message just when you want to have a look at the map. We'll go down to the bottom, turn around, come back. It'll be fine. As soon as we get somewhere where I've got a uh, signal, we'll put mine back on. Oh, I might be able to turn it around here, but I? Yeah. That's a bad place, not a bad place to go wrong. Scenery is absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Right, try again. Back on route. Porto de Cruz we're heading for. got ourselves back down towards sea level now, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, east. East point, aren't we? Eastern point, yeah. Yeah, so we've got to go on this main road for a bit and then we'll go back off the main road when we get over towards the peninsula of that side then. Yeah. So it'll be fine. Surprisingly, they allow overtaking in the tunnels. Hmm. Shouldn't do really, should you? Yeah, it sounds a recipe for disaster, really, doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. Well, I think it does say no overtaking as you come in, doesn't no, it? it doesn't, the, no, the, the lines say either dotted, it works the same as it does in England. Oh, I see what you mean. Mm. So you can overtake here. Mm. It's a long one, isn't this it? Is, this is a monster tunnel. 
Mm. No overtaking for us, but they can overtake. That's true. Mm. <laughs> you never still have a head on her. Mm. Civil engineering involved with the road system on this island is oh, colossal. Unbelievable. The amount of money it must cost to tunnel these massive tunnels. To have put them in originally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that one must have been a mile long. Yeah. Look at those gardens. Straight above the tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. <laughs> tunnel. I told you you'd be tunnel. bored of tunnels after this holiday. Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good view of the islands over there now. Yeah, really clear now, aren't they? From here. What we can see from our hotel. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. get a great photo with the bikes. Okay. You'll do there. What a spot, Carol. Mm. What a spot. There they are. The BMW and the Honda. We're going to chill for a bit, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I think we're going to chill. nice nice ice cream wasn't it mm -hmm. very nice spot all around really beautiful absolutely beautiful and if you look right up that way you can actually do a walk from here and get right the way up to the end of the peninsula up there is that the most easterly point yeah West? yeah 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 you can walk all the way up. i think there's a lighthouse there so you could probably spend a day's walking around here mm. and uh, just beautiful surroundings Gone without me. Am I coming? Speedboat looks inviting down there, doesn't it? It does, yeah. There's a mirror door up there. You go up there if you want. You go all the way around. Yeah, let's go and have a look up there. Just to see what the view's like. Get my knee down if I got round and round here enough times. Have <laughs> <laughs> oh, a look up here. It's going to be windy up here. Yeah. What are they doing? They were just down in the other car park. Were they? Yeah. Look at the other side of the island. Now look. Look at that. Oh yeah. Bloody hell. Amazing, doesn't it? It's a it? view, isn't it? Mm. The windmills, I think it was better just on the road down there, looking back across the. I'm just going to go and stand up there and have a quick look when the camera's still running. Okay. Not much of a beach down there. <laughs> I think there's a high likelihood of a rock falling from the cliff face and bludging bludging you to death oh. looks spectacular though beautiful isn't it with those jagged rocks yeah. sticking out the sea oh they're really Ooh. gonna leave that there really if 
place, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Really are some fabulous sights on this island, Carol. Yes, isn't they? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. The view to the right now, if you can it see does, it. It does, yeah. I think there's a little pull-in just down here where that car is over there. Get a view of that. It just looks gorgeous, oh, doesn't it? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. A bit special that is. Looks very like the west coast of uh, Gran Canaria, that doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> Bit of competition, who can get the best one? <laughs> I'm going to go for the selfie one now. Okay. There you go. Perfect. That's another thumbnail done. <laughs> Beautiful spot, isn't it, Carol? Just a bit, yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. I think it's a great spot to end today's video on. We're heading back down that way. Our hotel's round the corner up that way. Not far, is it? No, it's probably about 15 miles, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Um, we're looking forward to exploring more of this fantastic island the rest of the week. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, surf's up. Right. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go and get a beer by the pool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the airport there actually on stilts in fact we might go underneath the airport in a minute really we do hmm i think yeah. we do there's the airport look all on stilts look oh yeah that's weird isn't it mm. so we're going to actually go under the airport under the runway yeah that's amazing isn't it mm. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Riding under the runway. And well, they've got it I stilted mean, really out to sea, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, that is a construction and a half, isn't it? Happy the Tinta. Wow. Mm. Incredible.